Alright, I have an iPhone 6S here with a blown backlight, but uh, the pads are destroyed. You can look at it here, and uh, they, it's a big crater. Alright, so this pad is still intact right here, but this pad right here is not good, and then this is all grounded, so, and I see some traces here, so I'm hoping that, uh, I'm hoping these messed up traces don't cause any problems. But uh, I won't really know until after I repair it, because I don't even know where his traces go. To be honest with you, I mean, it's just I just want to make sure it's not grounded or anything. So um, let me just see if I can get some of this. I don't want to tear any of these traces, and then and. Uh, Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is put some solder mask on it, and then put a component in there and uh, let the solder mask kind of hold it in place, and then probably just jump it to that to the number two spot on the connector here, and the other the other part I will jump to here. So let's see if that works. I guess I don't. I'm hoping it works. Let's see if the let's see if the phone works first without with me just putting the attaching the filter back. If that works, then I'll go ahead and figure out how to mount it. I'm just going to use this to kind of hold it down for now, and then uh, once I get this thing working, then we'll, we'll go from there, alright? Uh, it's going to be a little bit... I'm going to tack it down with some stuff later. So I'm pretty sure that goes to the second one. Use my finger here. So I will try to tack it down to, you know what, there's actually another component, one, two, three, so one, two, maybe easier if I run a component to this guy right here, somewhere. One, two, three. All right, so let's see if uh, let's put a filter back. So let me just
me, this is probably not the best thing right here, but... Oh, bye-bye. So we've actually found it. This has one. Yeah, let's get a little flux over here. We're going to try attack down number two. Um, I'm actually going to use a jumper, I think. Try to at least. Should probably get rid of some of the more of that black stuff. Otherwise, it's not going to make a good joint. So I don't want to do this again. Later. <laughs> I really just need to tack this down first, I think. Somewhere at least. But I really want to test it before I do anything. It's not even connected. Whoa. I think it's working now. Clear.
Okay, now it's working, so let's just go ahead and test it now. And then uh, we will tack it down with some solder paste if everything is or checks out fine. I just gotta be careful, I don't wanna destroy this thing again. Alright. Hopefully this thing doesn't blow up on me. <laughs> I see smoke. It's gonna be trouble. No smoke yet. Oh, backlight. It's nice. Let me see if I can change the Alright, so I got a backlight. So what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna just put some solder paste on this puppy and um or not solder paste, solder mask. And tack every, all the wire down and the filter and stuff like that, and hopefully um, that should be good enough. I'll let it sit for about uh, a day, and then uh, you know just make sure that if it drops, it doesn't like break loose again or anything like that. Okay, all right, so that's it. That's how you fix it. Uh, this is not a simple backlight filter repair. You got to run a big jumper.